Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to manually install a Technic mod pack, in this case specifically my Volts 2077 pack, using the vanilla Minecraft launcher. Uh, the reason that you would want to do this, at least as the, at the time of recording, which is early January 2021, uh, is that Minecraft is making the transition from Mojang accounts to Microsoft accounts, and as of right now, Microsoft accounts are not supported on third-party launchers such as Technic or CurseForge. So, since I have released this pack on Technic, the only way for people with uh, Microsoft accounts is to play it on the vanilla launcher. So, first, obviously, you are going to need to download and install the vanilla launcher. Uh, it, you would obviously have a Microsoft account, so you'd be signing in with that. I still have a Mojang account, fortunately, uh, so I'm going to quickly sign in right here. Alright, so now that we're in, we're going to need to go ahead and download and install Minecraft. Of course, we're using the Java edition for this, if you weren't already aware. Just want to open this MSI file that you've downloaded. Next on through this, you can change this if you want, I'm just going to leave it all default. And start Minecraft. And our launcher should be ready to open now, so just, again, you would have a Microsoft account, I have a Mojang account, so just need to sign in however you can. Alright, once you're in, just dismiss this. Uh, and real quick, while we first get in here, there's a couple settings that, just in general, you should want to have on if you're doing anything technical like this. Um, you're going to want to keep the launcher open while games are running. Uh, that just means that, you know, if the game crashes or if you're, you know, booting the game multiple times in a row like we're going to be doing, you don't have to reopen the launcher each time. Uh, and then enable output log. Uh, this will tell you what's wrong, and especially if you need to come to me or someone else for help with any issues you're having, that'll be extremely helpful in figuring out exactly what the issue is. Uh, now, just need to come back to Minecraft here, uh, and th this is the latest release. Uh, Volts 2077 is based on Minecraft 1.5, so that's obviously not going to work for us, so we need to create a new uh, installation here. I'm just going to name it, uh, I'll give it the full proper name, uh, 2077. Uh, it is going to be running release 1.5.2. Obviously if you were doing this for a different mod pack you would select that version. Um, and real quick, we are also going to set a different uh, game directory. So the default is this .minecraft folder here. Uh, my personal recommendation is that you go to your uh, documents folder, uh, and that inside of here you just create uh, a new folder specifically for this. Volts. Actually, I'm going to name this friendly so that it's easier for you guys to follow along. Uh, Volts 2077, maybe even. Yeah, that's fine. The reason that you do this is because the files for Minecraft 1.5 are very, very different from the most recent version, and so you don't want installing this mod pack to get in the way of your normal Minecraft play. Uh, so you go ahead and hit create there, and then hit play on that. This warning right here pops up on any older versions of the game. Uh, it just means that your settings for blocking uh, offensive language and chat and some other features don't exist this far back. Uh, go ahead and hit play. Wait for everything to load up here. This is that console that we enabled earlier. Yeah. 
and here we are. Game is booted up. Uh, as you can see, obviously, this is just vanilla Minecraft 1.5. There are no uh, mods or anything installed, but we have Minecraft 1.5. That is the first step. Uh, now, this is where we need to start introducing the mod files. So, close out of Minecraft real quick here. Uh, this is the public facing uh, Technic page for Volts. Normally, if you were installing this, you would click install this mod pack and then follow these steps right here using the Technic launcher. This is where it gets kind of tricky. To the best of my knowledge, you need uh, to have the direct link from the person who made the mod pack to download this directly. There may be a way to get from this public link to the private link where the files are stored, but I am not aware of it. So if you are going to do this for a pack that is not mine, then you will need to contact the author for this one. Check the link in the video description. You will be able to download all these files. So this is hosted on Dropbox. Uh, the download button is up here in the top right. Make sure you hit direct download. And as you can see, it is now downloaded in the bottom left. If we hit open file, you will be able to see all the contents inside of that. Uh, real quick thing uh, going forward, just to make sure that we've got this all set up. Uh, inside of your file explorer here, click the view tab and make sure that file name extensions are enabled. That box needs to be checked right there. Um, and the reason for that uh, will become apparent later. It's basically this little dot zip at the end. We will need to change that on a couple files here in a bit. Uh, so now we have this open. I'm just going to drag this off to the right side. Uh, and on the left side, we are going to need another copy. Just right click on there and then File Explorer. We are going to need another copy of File Explorer so that we can get to the vanilla game we just installed. So if you remember, uh, inside of our Minecraft instance here, we had set the game directory to be inside Documents Volts 2077. So inside Documents Volts 2077. That folder has been created for us. Um, and so this right here is where everything goes. So take everything inside of the zip that you downloaded, uh, copy it, and paste. That will take a second. And now that that's copied, just quickly refresh to make sure we see everything correctly. And then you are now done with this file in your downloads. You can delete that if you want. So now that we're done with that, here's what we have. You will notice uh, that we are still using the vanilla game as our version. We need to take the uh, Forge, uh, Minecraft Forge, it is the base that all of the mods used in this pack are based upon, out of this file here inside of bin called modpack.jar, and we need to add them into the vanilla game. Uh, obviously, we don't want to mess up the vanilla game, so we will be moving that into a separate file. So, open a file explorer. You need to, inside of this top bar, type it, and I will put this in the video description, of course, percent app data percent, and then hit enter. That will open this up, dot Minecraft, and then versions. This is where things start to get a little complicated, so make sure you're following along. Inside of this folder, 1.5.2, we need to make a copy of that. So we're going to copy, then we're going to paste, and then you can rename this to whatever you want. I am going to rename it to volts 2077, just to match everything else we've been doing. And whatever you chose to name it, uh, we will need to go inside of here and change both of these other files to match. So volts 2077 and uh, uh, volts 2077. All right, now comes the part where we need to take the contents of this modpack.jar and put it inside of this jar file. 
So the easiest way to do that for us is going to be, remember from before in the view, we have file name extensions enabled. So you should see the .jar at the end of this file. You will want to click on it and change that jar to a zip. You will get this warning, hit yes. And then you will want to do the same for modpack.jar to a zip. Open both of them up. Now the uh, this one is the vanilla game, and the one that has CPW as the first file. Uh, that's for old versions. Newer versions of Forge do not have that, but for old versions of Forge, the ones that start with CPW is going to be the Forge one. So first thing we need to do with this meta inf folder. That is a security feature that informs the game that this is uh, signed by Mojang, the company that makes Minecraft. Uh, the game will not work if you leave that in. So we need to delete meta imp from the uh, vanilla game. All right, so now we need to get everything from this modpack.zip into this volts2077.zip. Now you can't just directly copy paste. This is because of some limitations in Windows, but that's pretty easy to get around. Just need to go one level up into the bin folder again. And we want to extract everything here with this little extract all button. And it will now open the unzipped version in this uh, modpack folder rather than modpack.zip. So we can just close out of our original and put this over here. Now that we have this separated out, we need to select absolutely everything inside this folder. And we want to drag it over to the other side. Uh, and for every single one of these, we want to go with the replace option. That just means that the forge is overriding the vanilla. And once you finish the spam of those, that is way, way too many things to click on, but small price to pay for Volts 2077, of course. You will get that little compression bar, and everything should be over here. Good way to tell, CPW folder is now over here. Uh, CPW is the name of one of the developers of Forge and would not be present in the vanilla game. Now that we've done that, you can close out of this. Uh, Forge has been moved into here. Uh, one last thing we need to do uh, on this side of things is to go one level up into the Volts 2077 folder. Uh, and this .json file here needs edited. So. For the Volts 27 specifically, this is kind of irritating to do, and I would recommend that you just download the copy of this file that I've, I have already modified for you in the description of this video. However, I will show you how to edit it here because I think it is useful information. So, if you just uh, open this normally with, um, like, Notepad or something, uh, it'll look awful. Just absolutely awful. Uh, and you can directly edit things inside of here. So, for example, one of the things we will need to edit out later is uh, the version number 1.5.2. Uh, but searching through all of this, it, it doesn't play nice. There you go, you can find it, ID 152. Um, so, what I like to use is a third-party uh, software uh, made by Microsoft called Visual Studio Code. I will put a link to that in the description, but I'm not going to show you how to install it. Uh, and once you've done that, you should be able to open this with Visual Studio Code. And then there's a built-in keybind, uh, Shift-Alt-F. And it will automatically format everything <laughs> off to the side to look much, much nicer. Isn't, isn't that better? So much better. Okay. Uh, and far easier to work with. So, you need to go all the way to the top here. Uh, first thing you need to do, this section that starts with downloads, uh, that needs to be gone. Completely gone. Uh, if you don't delete this, it will automatically replace all of your work with the vanilla game every, every time you try to boot up. So, you need to delete that. 
And then this section right here, you need to name whatever the file name is. Um, so, volts 2077. And then control S for save. You could also file and save up there, obviously. Go into here, delete the word zip, and type jar again. It will give you a warning. Hit yes. And now we should be good to go. You will need to fully restart the Minecraft launcher, so just right click on there, close all windows, and then we will once again load up our copy of Minecraft. And then in order to switch to our modded copy of the game, we will go back to installations these triple dots, edit, and then change release 1.5.2 to a new option that you will see, release volts 2077. That is our custom modified version of the game. And there is one more step here. This is should only be necessary for old versions of Forge, I'm not entirely sure. But down inside of here, this game directory that we have set is not respected by Forge when it's loading mods. It will respect it for some other things in the vanilla game, but it will not respect it for Forge. So, what we need to do is go, I'm just holding down my right arrow key on my keyboard, come all the way over to the right side of this, and then add a space, and then you're going to copy in something that I will have in the video description uh, right here dash capital D Minecraft dot applet dot capital T target capital D directory equal sign and then inside of double quotation marks here uh, we will need to give the, this folder right here so just copy whatever is in there control C and then go back down here into our double quotes here at the end and control V to paste that in. Now that we're done there, we need to hit save and our new copy of Volts of 2077 should be ready to play. So you go back to play, bottom left, make sure Volts 2077 is selected. get all kinds of things loading up. That means that it is working. As you can see in the background, the mods are loading up, be it uh, Briefcase Speakers Core is the name of a mod, Battle Towers, all kinds of things going on in the background. Uh, there will be occasional errors on things. Uh, that's just because of how old this version is. There will be things it's looking for on the internet that it can't find. But in general, this should be, none of those errors should matter and if you wait long enough the game should boot up properly. And as we can see here it has booted up 87 mods that is correct for this version of the mod pack. And just to confirm that we've done everything right, uh, I can just get my settings all right here and let's uh, make sure that you enable, if it asks you about this, enable Java for all of your network access. And then uh, let's just try to join the official server here. And as you can see, we are loaded in here. Everything is good to go. Uh, obviously not going to move around here too much or show you too much about my inventory. It is a competitive mod pack after all. Real quick tip, by the way, too, for this mod pack, if you push M on your keyboard, uh, minimap options, and then uh, show coordinates, I would highly recommend that you set that to disabled. Uh, maybe even disable uh, the entire uh, minimap, actually, but I'm fine with keeping it on personally. So, hope this has been informative to you on how to get uh, the mod pack installed and working on the vanilla launcher. Uh, if you are interested in this mod pack or just talking to me, need help on anything, uh, join my Discord. The link is in the video description as well as on the official Technic page itself. So if you click this button right here, it should take you right to us. Anyway, this has been the tutorial. Hope this helped you.